The cowboy state? The equality state? Wait, what state? Where? Yes, I'm talking about Wyoming. So you've decided that you want to move to Wyoming. But what location in the state is a right fit for you? Stick with me and maybe I can help you shed a little light on your big decision. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team in Casper, Wyoming. If you've watched any of my other videos, you might have noticed I'm a bit partial to Casper, but I'll admit, Casper isn't the only great city in Wyoming to consider. So for comparison's sake, let's compare Casper to Cody. Let's start with some statistics. How about population? Cody has a smaller population with just a little over 10,000 inhabitants compared to Casper's 58,000. Cody just barely misses out on the top 10 largest cities by population sitting at number 11, while Casper is the second largest city in Wyoming. So if you're looking for a location with a larger population and more amenities, Casper wins. Which one is larger by area? Casper, of course, but even with a population almost six times the size, the land area of the city is not six times larger than Cody. Cody is 10.43 square miles, which is a little more than one third the size of Casper. Casper is 27.27 square miles. Location, location, location. Cody's biggest location benefit is that it is only 50 miles from the east gate of Yellowstone National Park. Cody is located east of the Continental Divide, but it is in the northwestern part of Wyoming and is relatively close to the Montana border. Actually, it's just 105 miles away from Billings, Montana, which is Montana's most populated city. Cody is northwest of Casper. It is about a three and a half hour drive. Cody has some amazing views since it sits between the Beartooth and the Absaroka Mountains. And it is located right along the Shoshone River. Casper, on the other hand, sits a little closer to the center of the state. Not exactly center, but close enough to be able to get to just about anywhere in the state within a few hours. For example, it is about three and a half hours from Cody, but it's just over two hours to drive to Sheridan, Laramie, or Cheyenne from Casper. Casper sits at the base of beautiful Casper Mountain, with the North Platte River running right through town. Both locations have some excellent features, mountains, rivers, and more. You will just have to decide which location feature is best for you. What about median household income? Depending on the source you check, Casper's median income is right around $60,000 a year. Cody's median income is slightly lower at somewhere between 52 and 55,000 a year, again, depending on the source. So at face value, Casper wins this one. But what about home prices? The median home price in Casper sits around 286,000 with an average per square foot price of 145. Cody's median home price is 517,000 with an average square foot cost of $237. Okay, with Casper's median income higher and the cost of homes lower, I would say that there's a resounding win in the Casper column, at least when it comes to the ability to purchase a home. According to bestplaces.net, the cost of living in Casper is lower than the cost of living in Cody. With the housing cost difference, you would think that the overall cost of living would be quite a lot lower. But bestplaces.net includes things like cost of healthcare and groceries into their calculation. So some other factors may cost a little more in Casper than in Cody, bringing the overall cost of the difference down to just 10%. Since both cities are in Wyoming, they both have the great state income tax rate of none. So I guess tax-wise, we could compare sales tax. Both are relatively low. Cody is sitting at 4% compared to Casper's 5%. 1% difference doesn't seem that large, but it can also add up on those larger purchases. It looks like Cody wins with the lower sales tax. Since the state sales tax is 4%, technically Cody has one of the lowest in the state. Climate and weather are relatively similar in both Cody and Casper, but due to the differences in terrain, there are a few things that are not the same. When it comes to rainfall, Cody actually gets less rain than Casper, 10 inches per year compared to Casper's 13 inches a year. Casper also gets more snow, averaging 70.3 inches per year compared to Cody's 47. More snow is great if you like to ski, snowboard, etc. Another thing that Cody has less of than Casper is wind. If you were to ask residents of just about any Wyoming city which city is windier, it would probably start an argument because everyone thinks their city wins this one. If you want to know more about the wind situation in Wyoming, check out my video on Wyoming wind to learn more. The truth is, depending on the day, any city could really wind when it comes to wind gusts. However, average wind speed 
is another situation. If higher wind wins, then Cody loses the comparison. Cody has an annual average of about 7.4 miles per hour compared to 12 miles per hour average for Casper. Weatherspark.com has a neat comparison tool where you can see how the different weather stats stack up on the same chart. It looks like Cody and Casper have very similar temperatures throughout the year. Casper's average temperature range throughout the year is from 18 to 88, and Cody ranges from 17 to 83. What about the political climate? I am sure it comes to no surprise that Wyoming tends to have a reputation of being pretty conservative, and both Casper and Cody follow that trend closely. Middle of the year voter registration shows that Cody is a little more conservative than Casper. Casper, or rather Natrona County, has about 72.5% of total voters registered as Republicans compared to Park County, where Cody is located, with 80.5%. In both counties, there are a number of unregistered voters and a very small number of voters registered for alternative parties. The percentage of voters registered as Democrats in Park County is 7.9%, which is lower than Natrona County's 13%. These percentages tend to shift a little bit in election years and especially around election time, but definitely stay on the conservative side of things. How does Cody compare to Casper for access to the great outdoors? This one is a little bit more difficult, and I am a bit biased because I live in Casper, but in general, Wyoming offers wonderful outdoor activities. Casper is located at the base of Casper Mountain with hiking, skiing, and other snow sports, mountain biking and camping all within 15 minutes of town. Plus, with the river running right through the city, kayaking, fishing, and floating the river are minutes from home as well. I think it almost goes without saying that since Cody is just 50 miles from Yellowstone National Park, that there are some awesome outdoor activities fairly close to Cody. It's a little further to go, but a bigger backyard, so to speak. In addition to the obvious at the Yellowstone National Park, Cody does have the Shoshone River running right through it. So you can definitely enjoy all the river activities like kayaking and fishing. Sleeping Giant Ski Area is just over an hour from Cody, but by comparison, Casper has Hogadon Basin Ski Area in Casper, which is just over 10 miles from the center of Casper. There are many opportunities for hiking, biking, camping, snowmobiling, alpine, and Nordic skiing, and more. Casper has three reservoirs within an hour of the city. Cody has several smaller lakes that are great for fishing, and Buffalo Bill Reservoir is just a few miles outside of the city. So yep, access to boating activities are available right there as well. Both cities have many great outdoor adventures available. Cody has more mountains and close proximity to Yellowstone National Park, while Casper has maybe a bit easier access to the outdoor fun as most things are closer to the city. Both cities are great locations if you're looking for outdoor fun. How about the vibe of each city? Well, that one is also a bit harder for me to be biased. I do live, work, and play in Casper. My impression of Cody, it is a very nice and friendly small town vibe area, maybe even more so than Casper. That isn't necessarily a bad thing. Small town feel is what Wyoming is known for. In comparison to Cody, I would say that Casper feels a little more like a small town with the amenities of a big city. Well, the Wyoming version of a big city. Anyway, another big difference between Cody and Casper is linked to the largest industry in Cody, tourism. Cody is a bit more of a tourist destination than Casper. Cody's proximity to Yellowstone, as we've said a few times, really comes into play. On several lists of places to visit Wyoming, Cody comes in higher than Casper. Don't get me wrong, Casper makes a showing on these lists as well. And it is a great place to visit for many reasons, including the great outdoors, rich local history, and some amazing museums, just to name a few. Of course, with Cody as the gateway to one of the nation's top national parks, it really draws in the visitors. So they cater a touch more to the tourist crowd. Main Street is full of fun shops, nightly rodeos throughout the summer, and of course, the Buffalo Bill Center of the West is an amazing museum full of many of the things Wild and West you could want to see. There you have it, Casper versus Cody. I will leave it up to you to decide which is the right city for you. Of course, if it is Casper or our surrounding areas, give me a call. We love to help you find the home of your dreams. We love talking to all of you. We love to hear all the things you have to say in the comments, and we can't wait to meet you. My team and I have time for you, and if it's not in our surrounding areas, then we can find an agent that would be perfect for you in those other areas, including Cody. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.